The following program is sponsored by the friends and partners of Run With Fire Ministries. God's going to get a hold of you. Did you hear me? I said God's going to get a hold of you. Get ready because your life is about to get wrecked. It's about Jesus. Founded on salvation. Worship and healing. We run with fire. Sounds of revival. Intimate worship. And fresh word. Live from the Runwood Fire Studio in Orlando, Florida. All together now. With Roy and Melanie Fields.
John 836 says, Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Well, welcome today to All Together Now. I'm your host, Roy Field. And I'm his wife, Melanie. We're glad to have you join us once again. It's awesome. We're so glad to have you. And you know what? Just keep on tuning in with us. I tell you, Melanie, rain down, I am free. A lot of people think I wrote the song Rain Down. <laughs> I know. I, I didn't write that song. Yeah. A good friend of mine, Martin Smith of the band Delirious, he wrote that song along with electric guitar player Stewie G. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what, I love that song because Rain Down and I Am Free gets your blood moving, gets your blood pumping. And how much can you sing about a song without dancing before you say I am free? It's one of the few ones you can actually <laughs> sing about dancing and not sit in your seat. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And you, you know, know, I feel the presence of the Lord every time I've led that thing, no matter where I am around the world. Yeah, I agree. You think about the words, through you, the blind shall see, through you, the deaf shall hear. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the presence of the Lord is very strong when you worship him. Last week, we talked about worship. And uh, I'm going to get into it in just a minute. I do want to tell you this, by the way, if you want to get a hold of some of this worship and get a hold of that DVD that you just saw with Rain Down, I Am Free, we have this available right now. This is my DVD and CD. I want to send it to you for a, a love gift of $35 to the ministry. You know, you could help partner us as we go around the world and we share the gospel. You can call the number on the bottom of your screen. It's a DVD and CD. Stand up. But uh, as we're talking about worship, I remember being eight years old and asking Jesus Christ into my life. And then as I was 11 years old, I found myself in a Bible study. Mm. And I'm in this room with a bunch of people who are hungry for God. They're not there for any other reason. They've already gone to church on Sunday morning. Mm. They've already been to the Wednesday night service. Right. But now this is like a Tuesday night or a Thursday night. You know, the fanatics like you that are watching Christian television, <laughs> uh, Christian fanatics who love God. And I remember sitting there and they were singing this song, Melanie. I lift my hands to the coming King, to the great I am, to you I see, for you're the one who reigns within my heart. I remember hearing those words. It wasn't the song. 
It was the presence of Almighty God. I remember looking around that room and I said to the Lord, if this is what it's like to be in your presence, mm. I want to be a part of leading worship the rest of my life. Mm. It changed me forever. Mm. Worship changes people. Yeah. Because it's, I think, I believe with all my heart that worship is the highest form of prayer. Yeah. Because you're not asking for anything, honey. Mm -hmm. You're telling God how awesome he is, no matter how good or how bad it is. He's so wonderful. Yeah, and I think there's there's nothing that can replace the power in worship where you begin to take your focus off of the things of this world, which is what worship is, mm. and you begin to lift your focus to see God. And you know, I remember you singing that same song in Wales, and I'm telling oh, you what, yeah. Wales is known as just, they're known for their singing. They, they're they just known to have these like melodic voices. And, oh, their worship is phenomenal. And when they speak in Welsh, you can yeah. even hear it. It's like the sing-song tone. But as they begin to sing that song all together and joined in, and, it's, it, and I remember the worship, and they begin to sing in the spirit. Yeah. And it was like, it was like that scripture that I shared with you earlier in Revelation, like the sound of a multitude coming together. You could just hear all these people together singing praises to the Lord. And they're not singing words that you understand. Mm -hmm. They're just singing by the Spirit. Yeah, like a heavenly, like the Bible says that we can speak in tongues of, of angels, yeah. you know, that there's tongues of angels and of men. And it's like, it's almost like this heavenly sound, which you mm. often refer to. And, you know, there's nothing like being in that atmosphere of worship where the whole congregation finally comes to a place where they're one. It's they get, awesome. you know, together, one one voice, one sound, and they're all focused on God. And I'm telling you, that's the atmosphere where we've seen some of the greatest miracles come. To me, that would be Selah, S-E-L-A-H in Psalms. You sing all these songs, but then you get to that place called the Selah, and it's like you just listen to that sound. You know, we had Bill Johnson on the program, uh, I believe it was last year, mm -hmm. and he said, he calls it the draft of the Holy Spirit coming into place. <laughs> catch that draft. Catch the draft. <laughs> well, listen, we want you to catch another draft here of the Holy Spirit as we worship the Lord right now. I did not write this song. This is by Hillsong. It's called Hallelujah. Would you worship now again with us as we go there to Binghamton, New York, where we recorded this live. And you can get that on the CD and DVD. Let's listen to Hallelujah right now.
We'll be right back to All Together Now. Well, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this, and now it's here. The final release of the stand-up CD and DVD. And even if you miss the concert, you're going to be so excited for this recording. It's so powerful. There's going to be 14 songs on this CD, and then the DVD is just packed with 18 songs. And then these spontaneous um, interviews and just the testimony of Roy's life we all caught it it was like an impromptu decision and the worship night was so amazing and I know you guys are really excited about this so we want to get it in your hands if you'll just visit the the site that's on your screen right now for your love gift of $35 or more we want to get it right into your hands We now return to All Together Now. Can you imagine what heaven's going to be like when you cross over into eternity? I want to make sure that you make it there. You know, we just heard that song, Hallelujah, and I tell you, every time I've ever sang that song or I've worshipped to it, I can just imagine what it must be like in heaven. Do you know you can have that same experience with God right here on earth but you have to ask Jesus to be the Lord of your life and maybe you've already done this before or you've never asked Jesus into your heart maybe you've fallen away maybe you're living two different lives and nobody knows because right now you're in the privacy of your own home sir madam I'm talking to you right now this is the last moment in your life a chance for you to come and give your heart to Christ let me read something out of the Word of God John chapter 3 verse 17 listen to this for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved now look at me there's no teleprompter here today Jesus came to save the lost he came to save you and me all we have to do is yield to him it's a simple prayer from the heart are you ready to make that prayer today would you close your eyes and bow your head? It's a sign of surrender to Him. And just repeat this with your heart. Repeat this after me. Let's pray together right now. Come on. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of my sin. I am a desperate person in need of a Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. I believe the third day you rose again. And I believe you sent the Holy Spirit to live in the hearts of men. I ask you to come right now. Wash my heart clean. I give you my life. I yield to you today. Use me, Lord, for your glory. In Jesus' name. I believe and I receive right now in Jesus' name. Amen. My friend, if you prayed that prayer today, I want you to call the number on your screen right now and tell us, Roy, I prayed that prayer with you today. I'm so excited. Well, guess what? I'm excited too. Welcome to the kingdom of God. Your life is never going to be the same again. I'll tell you, it's awesome. It never gets old, Melanie, mm -hmm. praying that prayer with people. And you know, we get loads of calls all the time coming in, emails coming in of people that have prayed the prayer of salvation. And it's about the loss. But let me tell you something, friend. We want to keep you under that presence of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And here's one way you can. We have the DVD and CD of Stand Up. You've been watching it on our program today. The songs, Rain Down, I Am Free, Hallelujah, all that. That's on this DVD. That's what you've been watching. And uh, we want to get this in your hands for a love gift of $35 to the ministry. You can partner with us and continue to help others as you've just come now. That's awesome. Man, I love it. 
Rain down, I am free. Hallelujah! What great, what a great broadcast. Yes, and it's been it's been awesome talking about worship these last two. This one and the one before we were on worship, and it's um, it is definitely the foundation of who we are, Roy. Yeah, and it is. I think it is it has kept us through many years of ups and downs. And I just want to encourage you, whether you're on an up or a down. Many of you might be on a down if you're up this late. You might be on a down looking for something to encourage you. And I just want to worship. I, I want to inspire you that worship is a place that will take you out of focus on the things that are so hard in your life and get you focused on something much greater and that's the bigness of God in a nice way I'll tell <laughs> He's you what, really big you know one of my favorite scriptures Melanie is Galatians 2:20, and it says this it says I have been crucified with Christ it is no longer I who live but Christ lives in me and the life which I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me I do not set aside the grace of God, for if righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died in vain. He didn't die in vain, Mel. No, he didn't, Roy. He didn't. No, it says, I have come to give you life and life more abundantly. And even as we're closing up, I just feel there's people that even watching tonight, you might go through a time of depression and sadness. And I just want you to know that, that the Holy Spirit's here for you through worship, through encountering God. He wants to lift all those things from you, just like he's done for us. You know? Absolutely. Listen, we want you to connect with us here. You can call the number at the bottom of your screen. Right now, you can call in 877-736-7665. I almost it's hard to remember that number. <laughs> yeah, because they put it on the screen after we oh, take. Yes, but anyway, is. call that number, or you can send a letter to us, P.O. Box 896, Kathleen, Florida, 33849. And listen, until next time, we love you. We want to say goodbye to you. Join us next week right here again on All Together Now, same time. Same channel. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Next week on All Jesus Together said, Now. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself tonight. Jesus be lifted in this place tonight. Jesus be lifted in this place tonight. Jesus be lifted in this place tonight. We glorify you. We magnify you. We honor you. We adore you. You are The following program was paid for by the friends and partners of Run With Fire Ministries.